Hi, Fabian. Thank you very much for speaking to us. No, it's good. Thank you. You had mentioned in a very recent interview that you wanted to fight John Salter. Why did that fight not take place? And what was the process in the matchmaking with Charlie Ward? Um, I don't really know. You know, um, obviously, I, I've, been, I've been given a route, which is Charlie Ward, someone higher than world title. You know, so I was happy with the, with the plan that was, that was set out to me. You know, so it's, it's just about me going out there and executing those plans and achieving my goal, you know. Thank you very much. Hi, Dabi. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Hi, Guy. Thanks, Thanks to you to be here. You have put together a fantastic five-fight win streak over some really tough opponents. What are your thoughts on your next opponent, Daniel Scatizzi, and what do you make of his style and approach? Uh, for me, Scatizzi is uh, is complete um, on his striking. He tried to to eat uh, to it, but not like technically, but uh, to to have uh, the big shot, you know, big hooks and everything, and try to knock the opponent down. Uh, I think uh, if he um, if he jump on me like this with big hooks, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a mistake. And uh, I will try to make him miss and then make him pay. Uh, then it's a really good grappler. He have a good uh, wall game and a crazy double leg. You know, he work a lot of on his uh, double leg. So I will have to be strong on the cage and on the wrestling to not be taking not be taking down. And if he take me down, then it will be another part of the game. And uh, I will try to get up and uh, get the top position. And if it's not possible, we'll work on my jujitsu or my leg locks and, and try to, to, to make a little gift for him. Hi, Luke. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Although it was a highly competitive fight, your, your previous fight did not go your way. <coughs> Have you done anything differently this camp as opposed to previous training camps preparing for this next fight against Lucas? Yeah, a bunch. A highly competitive fight. I appreciate you saying that, Jay. I was a punch bag for the last two rounds. But um, yeah, I've, I've, I've changed a lot. It's, uh, I've completely changed teams. So, uh, so I've, moved, I've moved camps from Titan MMA over to Great Britain top team. Um, I've, I've had a new boxing coach to work on my hands. Um, I've gone to uh, a bunch of different grappling gyms around London to just sharpen those tools. So in terms of training, I've... Uh, I've made a lot of adjustments and in terms of the kind of mental side uh, to my approach, um, I now do a lot of hypnotherapy in my, uh, in my training and a lot more visualization and meditation sort of stuff, all that woo-woo kind of jazz, um, just to give me any mental wedge I can. And uh, yeah, I, yeah like, like I said before, I think I needed the loss so I could learn where the holes were in my game. Uh, and it's just, uh, it's... It's worked out in my favour, so yeah, yeah. Hopefully the uh, the changes will show on Saturday night. And that's good to hear. So if we talk about your next opponent, Lucas Alsina, he's eleven and three and making his Bellator debut. How much have you watched of him, and what do you think about his style? Um, I've watched literally every fight I could physically find, whether that be on flipping Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all that jazz. Um, I was actually watching three of his last fights on the plane here. Uh, every day I study him. Um, he's on my board in my bedroom. He's on my phone. Um, he's, uh, there's a picture of him in my car. Uh, yeah, I have, um, I've fully immersed myself with Lucas Alsina. He's in my head every single day. I've studied him as much as I physically can. Um, so yeah, I think I know his strengths and weaknesses. I think I know how I'm gonna exploit him and how I'm gonna put him away. Um, but time will tell on Saturday night. The last fight, I did a lot of talking and uh, told a lot of guys how I was going to win that fight and it didn't go that way. So it is what it is. But yeah, I believe I've got the, the tools and weapons to destroy this man. Hi, Adam. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Hello. Thank you, of course. So, so this will be your opponent's debut in the belt or cage. Have you been able to watch much, much footage of his recent fights and what do you make of his style and approach? Yeah, I'm not too much of a footage guy. I kind of leave that more so to my coaches, but I've seen it. Um, you know, he's good. He's tough. He's, he's, he's long. Um, he's a good fighter, as any fighter should be fighting for the main event of Bellator. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, Saul. Thank you very much for speaking to us. No problem. Your opponent, Tim Wilde, has fought on Bellator and Cage Warriors like yourself, and he has also been around the British circuit for a while now. 
Have you ever come across him before? Come across him as a matchup? Not as a matchup, but have you ever seen him around? No, you know what? Probably about an hour or two ago is the first time I seen him. I was outside the um, training room. He was coming to the training room. So that was the first time we've crossed paths. Not got a bad word to say about the guy, do you know what I mean? Thank you. All the best.